that Santa has officially greeted us. It's a nice, cool, crisp, kind of cloudy day today. I just waited for the fresh, crisp autumn air to hit us. And crying in Southern Hemisphere as a South African girly, my entire For You page has been spring summer hauls and getting the house ready for spring, buying bl like bright fro uh, florals. I mean, I did buy a like pastel color bouquet yesterday when I did my grocery shop, but I feel that that will be my end of summer bouquet. I still need to arrange it so we can do that together and like celebrate the end of summer and welcome winter. I like to do like this wardrobe switch, not only to make sure that when I open my wardrobe, everything in my wardrobe, number one fits me is relevant to the season and I don't feel like overwhelmed when I get dressed by having too many things because I feel like I have a lot of things like I have a lot of clothes and shoes and bags and just all of that so I don't feel that it fits into my wardrobe one day I'll have like the biggest walk-in wardrobe but still like I feel just packing away the things that aren't relevant to the season just makes it so much easier to get ready and by doing this like biannually it just allows you to get rid of things and like opening up space for new things and like blessing people with things that you don't really need anymore and it's fun like it's fun to declutter it really like it cleanses my soul and just it's like therapy for me so I love doing this I think I'm gonna start with the drawers in front of me I also did a little order on Friday on pick and pay home so that we can also do like a little bit of a house decorate for the new season so I'm excited to share that with you I did it on Friday because there's like a discount code I'll put it on the screen for flat pack Friday I'm so excited and I wanted um this piece like the previous time and I never ordered it so I was like let me just order it this time because I did those shelves. I also want to reorganize those shelves and just like add little elements of autumn and winter into the house on top of organizing my wardrobes. And then once I've done like the current wardrobe, like packed away things, I will fetch my winter clothes that I pack away in suitcases. I like vacuum pack them and I pack them in suitcases and then I store them in like storage cupboards in like the studio and gym. And I'll go get those and then I'll like steam anything that needs to be steamed and then I'll just put it into my cupboard. So let's get started. <laughs> afternoon to get this done and I'm only doing what's in my wardrobe right now because I'm like really going through it trying everything on so that's why I haven't like vlogged too much because half of the times I've been naked trying things on but yeah I'm gonna finish that up after I've made dinner with you also my pick and pay delivery arrived yay I will show you that tomorrow also need to sort out the fridge but yeah let's get some things for dinner okay so for dinner i'm gonna be making a risotto i think it's such a nice dish for like this time of year like when the weather's getting a little bit cooler and you want like something warm and comforting i love risotto so i'm gonna do a classic mushroom risotto with some added chicken i'm using thighs this time i usually do breasts but the last two times i used 
thighs instead of the breasts and oh my goodness they are so good and then I'm gonna do asparagus with it brain absolutely loves asparagus so I'm gonna do mushroom risotto with chicken and asparagus and I'm gonna start by chopping an onion the trees will bloom and eggs will melt we'll always remember for the drawers I literally could only do this yesterday because it was like a mammoth task I did my denims and I have them labeled I have everything labeled I'm just such a labeler so I have all of my denims the ones that I really felt good in I tried all of them on and the ones that just I feel comfortable in and that look good on me so I have one two three four five and I have one white pair more than enough and then I have all of my trousers I packed away like the linen ones the ones that were a little bit too cool for the temperature and then I like to keep an open drawer for whenever I'm feeling like a little bit lazy and just to have like extra space whenever I just want to throw something in and not like pack it away neatly or whenever something isn't quite dirty yet but I don't want to pack it back into the cupboard. I want to wear it one more time, but I don't want to like, you know, get like anything on my clean clothes, if that makes sense. So I'll keep an open drawer for that. And then we have the pajamas. I need to get my winter pajamas out. These ones are from Lily Silk, like little silk pajamas, and then the ones I have on. And then I just have loungewear in this one. And then in this one, I just have active way which I, I really hope that I can have time today to do a workout or just go for a walk for right now I am just getting myself ready for the day gonna put on like a cute little basic outfit because I'm shooting content so I want to be comfortable oh no oh no <laughs> I want to be comfortable um but also look cute for my content top was just like tight and tight jeans so I wasn't too comfortable but I'm ready to like shoot a bit of content and I'm also gonna like just work from home like this I love this little like button jersey it has the most beautiful little buttons and then these jeans from H&M both all of this is actually from H&M <laughs> much and if you want to switch it up like more often then it's it's not gonna 
bites such a big chunk out of your wallet and it really looks nice like it doesn't look you know cheap it's obviously not like real wood but it looks like it like you could have fooled me like honestly it and it was so easy to do so i thought i would do the little one first and kind of get the hang of it but i got the big one as well so i wanted to kind of set that one up with you i didn't need any tools i got this little i think it's called an allen key and the little image instruction was very easy to follow and quite simple so let's tackle the big one together i need you here for moral support <laughs> okay let's do this so fun it's like a little project i love like building things like diy styling and i feel like this really just like is all part of that and it's a little piece of excitement for the new season i feel and especially because it's so affordable you can really just like play Ooh. Did like a little video for my reels and I'm busy making chicken strips <laughs> for lunch. I just did my video like a little reel but I did it with this box so I think I'm just gonna do it again because this box is much cuter for my content. Oh it's heavy. Take two. Change angle. Chicken wing, chicken wing, chicken macaroni, chicken and macaroni. Ooh. Okay, ladies, let's do this. So it's super simple. You get all of your little bolts and screws and whatever <laughs> in this little bag. And you get a little Allen key and some legs for the bottom. So oh, you basically just screw them all together in these little holes. And then you do that with both of them and you have a table. So not tricky at all. But this part where it kind of looks raw over there, this will be at the top. So I'm just going to make sure. Okay, so I'm going to do these two. And then before I tighten, I'm just going to do the other side so that they're just straight. There we go. Okay, now for this side, same thing. So this will be the top and then the bottom 
has like a prettier little like where it wraps underneath if that makes sense And then the little legs. I absolutely love this. It's so pretty. Okay, now I need to think to style it a little bit. I want to remove everything and like create like a blank canvas first. dinner I made rainbow trout with just veggies and some potatoes snacked on some olives whilst I just marinated the rainbow trout the only thing I used was literally olive oil um, I used a little bit of this chili crunch some honey and then these spices so garlic salt um, a little bit of onion powder and paprika and then we shake that all together brain was busy unpacking the dishwasher as i was busy making dinner i quickly changed into something a bit more comfy and then we just went for a little evening walk and then i made like a little whipped um cottage cheese with just a little drizzle of honey and some herbs on top and that was dinner vibes i just went for a walk came home um or came back <laughs> did the fridge organized and cleaned the fridge out it feels so good i also noticed we had a lot of carrots so i was like let me make a carrot juice and it is so yummy it's just carrots and water blend it up and then you strain the pulp out to get like this cold pressed juice with either like a dish cloth cheese cloth or paper towel and then i made eggs with rainbow trout and just a little bit of potatoes left over from last night and i'm staring at those suitcases so let's jump into them and sort out the winter clothes so that we can put the summer ones back in there
love it so 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 much yesterday with a ray of sunshine like just coming in here i was just i just had to sit and admire and i'm so happy that i'm done with this whole like wardrobe switch because this entire part of the living room like living space entryway <laughs> was full of suitcases for two days but i feel that it genuinely is like a two to three day project and it's nice to just take things slow you can get work done in between you don't have to be like you know so focused i feel like if you you try to do everything in one day you'll get sick of it you're gonna keep things that you don't really love i'm also very determined to wear everything in my wardrobe this winter whatever i don't wear this winter will not go in storage for the next season so i want to be very brutal like this sweater for example i have kept for probably three winters and i haven't worn it at all it's just because it's so cute but i don't know i haven't felt comfortable in it so now it's sitting a little bit better and I've just paired it with some jeans. I'll show you like my full outfit when I end the vlog. But this is basically the end of the vlog. I hope you ladies enjoyed. I absolutely love doing this. Number one, like I said, it's like having a little bit of a declutter. But also being so like in tune with your wardrobe. Knowing exactly what you have. What fits you. What looks good on you. I highly recommend you doing it. And I also encourage you to do like a little bit of a decor switch. Or like a decor spruce up. If I could call it that. I absolutely love the way these pick and pay flat pack like tables came out. The big one was $7.99 and the smaller one was $5.99. The smaller one is a little bit higher and I just love everything <laughs> that they have. They're adding more and more things um, since the launch and I actually have my eye on those little Sherpa Ottoman kind of thingies that you can double up as a storage. And I also have a discount code for you, which I will put on the screen. Not that you need it because it's so stinking affordable and they literally deliver it to your house. I think mine got delivered. I ordered it on Friday and it got delivered, I think Monday, Tuesday. So it was so quick. So highly recommend going on there. And again, thank you to Pick and Pay Home for working with me. If you see my content on Instagram, <laughs> Please show it so much love. Oh my goodness, my back from like picking up the boxes a few times and doing so many different clips, like oh, my back. <laughs> but that just goes to show like I need to do my Pilates again. I haven't done my Pilates in like two or three weeks. So I'll get back into that and like get back into routine and like form a little bit of an autumn routine. Maybe I can do a video on that soon. Let me know what you think. I also got as we said goodbye to summer it arrived on my doorstep look what i got i was so excited i just i'm sorry ladies i had to just unbox it straight away because i haven't received anything from joe malone in years the only thing that i you know the things that i have i purchased myself i'm such a lover of the brand and i think like a few years ago i got invited to an event and i got like a little gift from them and i just like it was over it was over over good over <laughs> so i wanted to show you leafies what i got this bag is from kelp by ray and it's handmade in cape town this will definitely be going in my summer bag rotation and that's one thing that i didn't get the time or like the chance to do but i'll do that in maybe like one of the next vlogs my bags and my shoes i feel that that's also something that we need to rotate and just like maybe push some of the more like summery like bags like this that are a bit more like wicked or woven something that just screams the beach and like screams vacation and summer and just all of that maybe push them to the back and like bring your more like warm cozy like leathery look or 
um, like browns and just things that are appropriate for the season to the front and with shoes as well just putting away most of your sandals maybe keep out like one or two pairs that can go with most of your outfits and just like you know keep things fresh keep things organized keep things you know relative to the season this however is not completely relative <laughs> to this vlog because we're getting ready for autumn but as the rest of the world is getting ready for spring and summer we will send it to them like we'll send them the warm weather we've had it <laughs> or they're, get, they're getting the fresh new ones <laughs> like these fragrances i absolutely love jo malone i'm such a jo malone girly it says dear jessica your summer scent list just dropped and can i just say that i gasped when i opened this box because not only one not only two but three jo malone fragrances these i think retail for 1900 and something for like a 50 ml and i have three yellow hibiscus sunlit cherry moya cherry moya and yuzu zest i smell them they smell incredible i just feel like jo malone just does fragrances so well this one i have the notes on my phone this one is yuzu zest let me get this one so top notes are yuzu middle notes clary sage and base notes balsam fir and cedar so this fragrance is citrus woody aromatic fresh spicy like sweet a little bit bitter a little bit fresh and soft spicy this one to me is very summer this is like summer in a bottle so i'm gonna keep this one for the next <laughs> wardrobe switch but it smells so so good so fresh but so balanced with a little bit of woodiness a little bit of bitterness a little bit of like spiciness but still soft and feminine so love 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 that gonna definitely keep that for summer and then one that i think that can be Pretty much a signature scent is yellow hibiscus. This is rose, musky, floral, citrus, powdery, spicy, sweet. Like, I feel like this is such a stunning scent. I will wear this all year round. It just smells so clean. The top notes are hibiscus, middle notes, rose and lime, and then base notes, white musk. So simple, so straightforward, which is so delicate. And just such a girly girl, fresh, clean girl scent. Like slick back bun, like very soft colors, even like a floral. Like this is such a versatile scent. I love this one. I'll definitely be wearing this one throughout like the daytime in the autumn, winter. And then one that I think is very autumn. This just, to me, like this feels autumn. This is fruity, sweet, balsamic vanilla. This is the Sunlit Cherry Moya, Cherry Moya. I believe it's a fruit from South America. It kind of reminds me of a prickly pear. And the middle notes have pear in them along with the Cherry Moya. T uh, top notes is bergamot. And then base notes, copaiba balm and tonka bean. I love tonka bean. The vanilla, -y, like, I'm going to wear it today. I'm going to wear this today. This scent to me just feels like end of summer, beginning of summer. You know, that like perfect transition, like the leaves are, are either dying or the blossoms, like it's, it's still kind of cool and crisp in the air, but like it's not quite summer yet or quite or summer is quite over if that makes sense so i love this one i love all of these a big thank you to jo malone for sending me this stunning gift like i said i was just so excited i just had to open it up so i wanted to share that with you ladies. and that is the fragrance that i'm wearing today i'm gonna show you my outfit before i head out the house thank you so much for watching i love you ladies so 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 much Mwah. bye